Welcome to Manuka Natural in New Zealand. I'm Bill Glewis and in an earlier video I, I mentioned the, uh, the relationship between uh, the compound methyl glyoxyl uh, referred to on some Manuka honey labels as MGO and, and the, uh, the longer standing uh, method of, of interpreting the uh, antimicrobial activity of Manuka honey UMF or unique Manuka factor. Now today I've drawn a small graph, uh, it's just indicative only, but it, it gives us the relationship of, of um, the quantity of methyl glyoxyl in, uh, in Manuka honey and the UMF rating. So you can see here that um, if we had a, a UMF uh, level of, of say for example 10 plus it would be um, somewhat similar to around about 200 to 250 um, of the, on the scale of methyl glyoxyl, which is uh, measured in milligrams per kilogram of honey. So it's, it's not a linear, it's not a straight line graph. Um, it, it does, uh, as the, uh, the UMF level um, of certification increases up to Let's say 25 plus, which is really quite rare, um, the proportion of, of methyl glyoxyl is, is somewhat lower, um, or it has to be that much higher, in fact, to, to reach that 25 plus level. Um, methyl glyoxyl is not the only compound that's responsible for the antimicrobial uh, properties of Manuka honey, and it is only a measure of the quantity or the concentration of methyl glyoxyl in the honey, not uh, totally the, the uh, antimicrobial properties or the antimicrobial um, effect of, of the honey in, in total. Uh, the UMF is a, is a measure of how effective it is against certain bacteria. Uh, methyl glyoxyl is a measure of the, the concentration of, um, of methyl glyoxyl compound in the honey. So um, if you have any comments please uh, comment to us and we'll come back to you on that um, or if you think other people could be interested in this uh, explanation um, please feel welcome to share, share this with, uh, with other people.